Okay, I want to uh, thank you all for uh, joining us here tonight. Uh, this is going to be a rather special webinar. It's not uh, one of our typical uh, Monday evening webinars. This one is actually uh, to teach you or to show you a, a novel concept that we're going to be promoting this weekend uh, at our multifamily Shark Tank event. Um, you know, and the topic of today, tonight's webinar is how you can own a 36-unit apartment complex with the help of all of us here at the Multifamily Investing Academy. Academy. Now, the thing, uh, the, uh, first off, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Charles Dobbins. I'm the founder of the uh, Multifamily Investing Academy as well as the uh, principal attorney for Dobbins Law. Dobbins Law is a law firm. Uh, we're located just outside of Boston, and our entire focus is on the multifamily investor. Our whole goal is to help multifamily investors get into good properties to do good deals and to uh, become successes in the multifamily business. Um, also joining me uh, today is my partner in crime with the uh, multifamily shark tank, Mr. Duncan Weirman. Duncan, say hello. Hello, Duncan Weirman. Hello, Duncan Weirman. And so I'm uh, Duncan, as I like to call him, he's a marketing guru to the gurus. He's the guy that is going to teach us how to set up the systems in our business so that we can keep our bridge job while we're making the transition to multifamily and uh, setting up our systems early on so that our businesses are the type of businesses we all want to own and operate uh, where we, are, we maintain the level of entrepreneur and not the level of technician, as Michael Gerber talks about in the E-Myth Revisited book. So, uh, Duncan, I'm going to turn this over to you and uh, let you kind of uh, lead the way here, um, and uh, you can have at it. Well, thanks, Charlie, because I'm, I'm really excited looking forward to this weekend. I mean, many, many people have, uh, you know, they've been playing in a single-family home uh, market for so long, and they're looking to transition out of that. And um, it's, it's definitely a different animal, but it's not that much harder than single-family homes if they know how. And uh, one of the things that we're really going to go over is how to stand out from all the wannabe investors uh, and, and make yourself unique and uh, learn how to get deals uh, at th this weekend. We're going to show you a ton of different ways to get deals. I'm going to call on Charlie just in a minute to give you three of those ways, just as a tease. Um, but uh, the Multifamily Investing Academy is a really intensive training. It is work. Uh, we have some fun, too, but uh, we're going to be diving in right into the marketing, and we're going to be diving in right to numbers. We're going to be analyzing deals, tearing them apart. And then uh, the, the Shark Tank itself is the ability where you uh, are going to present deals to people who have money. They want to fund deals and uh, help you be successful. Um, so part of the process that we learn is how to do this because you'll be doing this throughout your multifamily investing career. So uh, good practice ground, and there's money in the room for you to get funded. So, uh, Charlie, I'm going to actually kick it back to you, and, and uh, let's get them right into this. And like, uh, tell us three ways that uh, people can find some multifamily uh, deals quickly. All right. Well, I'm, I've just put up a couple here, and these are, you know, unfortunately, or fortunately, just to show you just how pl plentiful they are, uh, all of the, the places I'm going to show you are actually stemming all from one particular website, one particular location. Um, and But at our event, we spend one entire morning just talking about all the different places you can find off-market properties. Uh, in this particular case, I wanted to show everyone how... LinkedIn works, and I use LinkedIn all the time to either find deals, to promote deals, to find people who are doing deals, to find people who have money. LinkedIn is a fantastic place uh, to find, uh, to get started in the multifamily business if you're starting from absolutely nothing. And Duncan, in, in his presentation at the Shark Tank, actually shows you how to automate this process with LinkedIn, and, have, and he has the computer systems that does it for you automatically. It's a perfect match. But in this particular case, this is a uh, website, a LinkedIn group uh, that I'm a member of. And I just, this morning, I said, okay, I'm going to put together today's presentation. Let me find some places where I can find off-market opportunities for uh, multifamily investors. When I say off-market, I mean those non-loopnet-like places. Where can I find deals that aren't out in, in the mainstream, where nobody else is looking? Go right onto LinkedIn. <clears throat> I click on one particular group, and the founder of the group, this is his most recent post. 
He says, we are now the largest source of off-market apartment deal flow on LinkedIn. Folks, if you're not a member of this group, what are you waiting for? This is a great group to be a member of, and you can just sign on up, and every day you go online and you find deals out there. But the other thing that we teach people is not only can you find the deals, but you can find the people looking for deals, doing deals. If you're bird dogging, if you're wholesaling, this is where you want to go to, to fill your list. Now, you're asking me, which group is this? Well, here are three places on LinkedIn where I was able to instantaneously find off-market opportunities uh, that, that you can get involved in. And if you're wholesaling a deal and you need to find buyers, this is where you want to post them. So uh, the first one that I just showed you, Dan Cunningham's group, is uh, the Apartment Investors Seeking Deals. Uh, the next one is the Real Estate Networking Group. Now look at this on the Real Estate Networking Group. This is really cool. Look way to the right. How many members? There are over 372,000 members in this group. Now, if you can't find what you're looking for or find enough people to do deals with out of 372,000, you know, you, you've got a very, very narrow product or a narrow market. And in the multifamily world, you do not. Everybody wants to be in this business. Um, the other one uh, group is uh, from my, uh, my fellow compadre, uh, Jeff Lerman. He's an attorney out in San Francisco. This is the group that he started, Real Estate Joint Venture Matching Group find a JV partner here. If you're looking for money for your group, wouldn't you want to go talk to people that would, would sign up and become members of this particular group? That's the type of, of place that you want to go and promote your group, promote your deal, or find people that have money and are looking to get into deals. So here are three places right here where you can find off-market properties. And I just went to one website to do this. And when in our event, we're going to show you a whole host of other sites that you can go to as well. So I hope that answered that question, Duncan. Not bad at all. I think that was pretty cool, friend. We're going to go into uh, LinkedIn a lot more uh, at the event. And like you said, show you how to automate this process so you don't spend all day just uh, going through it. But um, hey, Charlie, you know, I, I talk to a lot of people all the time, and I'm like just you know seeing people fail at multifamily investing. And why don't, why don't you share like two of the biggest mistakes that people make out there that we're going to fix at okay. the event? Okay. You know this is a topic that gets me all the time because I see so many new investors coming out of these weekend seminars thinking that they're experts in the business and they're making such incredible rookie mistakes. When they make these mistakes, they're things that they learned in a, in a boot camp and they think it sounds good, but if they don't understand the flow of the deal, they have no idea that they've got themselves into trouble. Let me show you, uh, you know, two mistakes that, that I came up with. Uh, the first one, and I see this all the time, is asking for a repair allowance on your offer before you've even seen the property. And you've got to ask yourself the question, okay, if I walk out there and just ask for a 3% repair allowance and I've never even seen the property, what do you think the owner's going to do? He's going to say, absolutely. You want 3% repair allowance? Fine, I'll agree to that. But don't come back to me for anything else if you find out it needs more than 3% repairs. And you've just blown it. You can't come back to the guy. Especially if the repairs that you say, you know, once you do your due diligence, you, you come back and you say, hey, I need uh, your, your parking lot's in disrepair, your roofs look terrible, they need to be fixed, and um, your uh, screens all need to be replaced. And so we're going to need more money. He's going to look at you and say, you asked for 3% at the offer stage. And now you're finding out that it needs more than 3% based upon things you could have seen had you just driven the property. So I'm not going to give you any more money. That's the deal. You've just blown it. So you never ask for a repair allowance in the initial offer, but you always get the money you need in the subsequent, uh, subsequent negotiations. Once you've completed your due diligence, if you're not happy with what you see, that's the time to go back and get more money. So that's the first, one of the biggest mistakes I see other uh, new investors make. Now, uh, the second thing is... Uh, Making no money down offers. This is such a rookie mistake. Now, just think about it. If, if you've got a seller of a property 
and the broker brings him five offers and your offer is the highest one you've got more you're gonna pay this guy more money than he than uh, anyone else but your offer is a no money down deal and let's say it's contingent upon a hundred percent financing do you think that guy is gonna look at you as being a valid offer do you think even though your price is higher than everybody else that he's going to say oh I'll take this one no he's gonna look at that and think it's a joke of an offer because nobody can get a hundred percent financing on deals it just can't be done so you've got to make sure and understand how to write offers in such a way that they get accepted and that they flow easily through the entire acquisition process so those are two examples and we go into detail in our uh, shark tank uh, to teach you all these different tricks so that you look like an absolute pro when you're out there making offers so there Duncan those are the two mistakes I see all right well let's 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 talk about the offer a little, a little bit more then let, let, let me ask this one what should you never ever include in any offer that you make on a property but still can get you what you want anyway okay the one thing that you can never get that you never put in an offer is asking the seller for a second mortgage period just don't do it but hear what I said what I said was you don't ask for a second mortgage but you can always ask for seller financing and you should always ask for seller financing and you should always get some form of seller financing just never in the form of a second mortgage if you do that you have just put yourself in a very tough position as you go through the flow of the deal and I'm not going to go into more detail come to the event uh, in Baltimore next week this weekend and I'll explain exactly how you need to fix that so it never happens to you how's that for yeah, I, I, I hear you from the, that, that's great because I tell you what the last two things you told me I, I, I've heard people say in other seminars I'm like sitting there like what are they really saying this stuff yeah <laughs> so, don't do it yeah so don't do it you know All take right, it from so, take um, it from an attorney who deals in this every day and has to negotiate these contracts for his clients uh, you just can't do this uh, this way you have to understand the entire process once you understand the entire process you will be in total control of the deal cool so you know one of the things we're doing this time that's different from any event that we've actually done before is that uh, we're going to show you what to do to get a 36 unit apartment building in Charlotte North Carolina um, that a, a good friend of ours is going to be offering uh, to the most qualified investor in the room and that does not mean the highest bidder and that means everyone is eligible so, Charlie, why don't you break this down and explain this because this really is a super opportunity for somebody new to get started with, you know, a, a smaller building, but can get their hands on the door and get hands in the in the door and get some experience. Exactly. So, here's <clears throat> here's the way it's going to work. For those of, those people who have been to our our Shark Tank before, on the last day, this, the second half of the last day. Uh, we bring up our sharks. Uh, these, sometimes there are two, sometimes there are three. These are people who are qualified as key, key sponsors. They have money. They uh, own property already. They're, they're known to me. I work with them on a regular basis. And they're looking for deals. And they're willing to work with new investors to help them get across that, that starting line and help them get their first deal under, under uh, wraps. Well, the last event, we had one particular uh, uh, shark who was a client of mine my law firm and this guy has been working with me for years and I actually knew this particular investor back when he had not didn't own any property and I helped him acquire his first deal and now he's subsequently gone on I think he owns over a thousand apartment units uh, all on the East Coast uh, he's done extremely well and he's got this 136 unit 39 unit apartment complex 39 or 36 I, I put 39 here it might be 36 <clears throat> he's got this 39 unit apartment complex in Charlotte North Carolina it was one of the first deals if not the first deal he ever acquired and now he's ready to sell it and so he calls me up and says hey can you do anything with this at the shark tank and I, I asked him a, a few more questions about the property and I said hey I've got a great idea people come to my event to learn how to do deals can we use this property as a deal at the event 
He goes, what do you mean? I said, well, what happens if we use your property as a way to sell the deal to other investors and, and or teach people how to put together a package and put together an op a deal uh, and somebody in the audience will be the, the person who ends up buying this property from you? And he said, that's a great idea. Let's do it. And so I thought, okay. This is going to be fantastic. And then I, my wheel started turning as to exactly how do we need to do this. And, you know, the way I figured is the first two and a half days of this event, I teach you how to be a very smart multifamily investor. And then the, this last half of the third day, we're going to do a deal. But I want you to take everything that you learned from the first part of the, of the weekend and apply it to this particular deal. And the reason why I say that is because once I started promoting this event, people started calling me up saying, oh, I want that. I'll do whatever it takes. Let me know what I have to do. And then I realized, no, 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 guys. Put the brakes on. You're an investor. This sounds like a great deal. We're going to make sure that it is a good deal, and then we're going to make an offer that makes sense to everybody. So we're not just going to go jumping into it and saying, like, hey, I'll give you uh, whatever you want for this deal to make it happen. No, it's got to be a smart deal. So the first thing we're going to do is you got to attend the event. You have to be in the room for the event and in order to be even considered in acquiring this property. All right. Now, the second thing that you have to do is you are going to learn how to analyze an apartment complex the right way. We're going to spend the first two days going over property packages, going over financials, understanding the cash flow analyzer software, and knowing exactly how to make the deal uh, work on the page. So when it comes time to analyze this property package, and everybody is going to get this property package on Saturday, They'll be able to take it back to their hotel room, take it back to their homes, and work on the numbers that night and to determine the true value of that property. So that's going to be everyone's homework on Saturday night. So on Sunday when we come together, the, the, what we're going to be talking about on Sunday morning is how to structure the deal. How would you structure a deal in order to get your investors into, into a, a, a multifamily property with you? And I'm going to sh go talk about limited liability companies and operating agreements and, and membership interests. And, and you will understand by the end of Sunday morning exactly how to structure deals. And that's going to be helpful when we sit down and take a look at, at uh, my client's deal. Third step is you, you can put together a team in order to put together an offer. So you will be there with other multifamily investors throughout the course of the weekend. You're going to get to know them. You're going to get to like them. You're going to find out who's good, who you can work well with. And maybe what you end up doing is you put together a buyer's group who ends up making an offer to my client. So it doesn't necessarily have to be you. It can be a group of people who end up making the offer and making it happen. And I'll tell you, one of the things that we talked about is, you know, my firm is going to help that that winning party make the deal happen. If we need to draft an operating agreement for you and make sure that everybody gets uh, gets the right, um, uh, right amount of... Uh, protections or, you know, the, 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 the membership interest is drafted in the right way so that everybody's protected, our office will do that for you because we really, we, we really want to see this deal happen for everyone. Uh, step four is once you've put everything together, once you know what the deal looks like, once you hear the, see the numbers, then my client is going to get up there and he's going to tell you all about the deal. And you're going to see the interaction between me representing the buyers and him being the seller. And you're going to see the two of us horse trade back and forth on what needs to be done to make this deal fly. And then we're going to go back and we're going to look at the offers and figure out which offers have what it takes in order to get accepted. So, you know, as I said, Dobbins Law will help and assist uh, the successful bidder and, and put together all aspects of the deal on your behalf. So we are there to help you get through this transaction. Every It's a win-win for everybody. So make sure that um, you got to be there 
you got to be listening and attentive. You have to learn how to do this. And I can tell you, folks, there is no other weekend event from multifamily where you will learn more about how to get a deal done than this, this one coming up in Baltimore because we are going to do a deal uh, come the end of Sunday night. So, um, you know, that's... Sorry, I, you know, I, I, I think that's very true. There is no, you know, what we're doing at our events, no one else is doing. Even some of these people, gurus that have been in the business for donkey's years, you know, they are not doing what they are doing in our events. They're so different. But so let's let's put on one other thing here. Is let let's let's go back to this offer bit. Let's uh, let's tell them something. How to, you know, what we're going to do at the event is why our offers are always getting accepted. So how what are we doing different that we are teaching people how to get offers on properties that get accepted every single time? Okay, the f the way that we teach it, and this is something where you have to teach outside of the box. You can't think like everybody else. Uh, the way you need to look at multifamily, as it is a sales and marketing business, and you know that's why you're there, Duncan, is to teach the sales and marketing side. And once you understand that this business is just like any other with sales and marketing, and you understand that to be successful, you've got to sell a product, then you know that you you can succeed in this business. As a matter of fact. This client who you're all going to meet on uh, this weekend, <clears throat> when I first started working with him, he was a manufacturer's rep. He'd been a manufacturer's rep for, for 30 years and was looking to get into multifamily. When I first met him and started talking with him, I knew this guy was going to be a success because he understood sales and marketing, and he knew this was just a numbers game in getting out there and speaking to as many people as possible. So he did that, and he became a success. What you need to do in order to get your offers accepted is realize that in this business, the first sale you will make is selling your offer to the buyer, to the seller. I'm sorry, selling your offer to the seller of the property. If he buys your offer and accepts it, you made a sale. If he looks at it and rejects it, you haven't sold anything. You're not in business. So you want to make sure that you write that offer in such a way that it meets all the requirements that the seller is looking for and you know that the seller is going to accept your deal. And the way to do that, the easiest way to do that is just to listen. Make sure you listen to all the things that the seller is talking about and the seller wants and give it to him in some form in the offer, but do it in such a way that you see it's, it's a still a win-win deal for everybody. So that's what we teach is making sure that the offer gets accepted. If it doesn't get accepted, you're not in this business. And the way to do it is just to listen. So I, I think we've given plenty of reason to sum up for the event. It's, you know, it's a fabulous deal um, that, that we're doing. Um, is there anything else you want to say about what we're going to be teaching the event before we tell the details of, the, um, of the, the price and venue and all that? Oh, well, let me just tell you, it, this is, people have said that this is the best training they've ever received in multifamily. It is very intensive, but it's a lot of fun, and I think you'll like my style of teaching. Uh, you'll understand exactly how this business operates. I mean, I've been doing this now for about 10 years. I absolutely love this business. It is a blast. It's the best business to be in, uh, and, I, and you will see that passion come out in my teaching. Well, I can agree with that, and the same with me. I love this business, and uh, I can't get enough of it, and I want to share my enthusiasm for it onto everybody who comes and make sure that they're going to be highly successful in marketing themselves and their business and making offers. So, uh, Charlie, I think we put a good price together of uh, 297 for a three-day event that uh, uh, that are work days. You know, they you're you're going to be digging hands-on uh, with these. Uh, um, product packages that we – tell them about the packages you put together that we uh, have them work through. Oh, well, we have the um, we have the property package. For instance, uh, we're going to be doing the property package analysis so that you all get a property package from a broker and you know exactly what it entails, you know exactly what it, what, uh, it encompasses and exactly how to read one. And that is you – know, that's the broker's first opportunity to, to, to shine and you'll, I will teach you exactly how to read those packages and understand what's wrong with the property. You know, then we go through the financial accounting. I love accounting on the multifamily side. And people might think I'm crazy, but no, I'm going to show you exactly how to understand a multifamily income and expense statement, and it's got nothing to do with the numbers. 
and when you're done, you will you will be light years ahead of everyone else. Then we talk about how to structure the deal. You know, we go through operating operating agreements. The package that that every attendee will receive electronically on Friday morning will be the most in, intensive package that they've ever received before. Um, and it's really it's just great stuff. You will learn so much from that material. Excellent. So the, the price for the weekend is only $297, and uh, really we could charge a whole heck of a lot more, but, uh, you know, we want to teach and we want to do more deals, and um, we want to get the right information out there. Yep, exactly. So uh, the link they go to, Charlie? The link they can go to is www.multifamilysharktank.com forward slash Baltimore. And I apologize for not being on there. I will get everybody out a thank you email that uh, attended or, or signed up, and that will have the link to it, so you can um, you can watch this again, or you can uh, register for the event right then and there. Super guys, well, um, thank you for coming by and attending. I hope we uh, gave you uh, an, enough information and excitement and reason to come and and uh, to the event in Baltimore. Uh, by chance you got on the call and you're on the West Coast, we are going to have a West Coast event at the end of uh, March, so you'll still have the opportunity to attend. Um, but if you can get to Baltimore, you'll have a chance to uh, make an offer and get funded on the uh, 36 unit. So I highly encourage you to take the step, take the action that's required to start learning this business and do it the right way. Uh, people who do it every day, and um, I look forward to seeing you meeting you there. Great. Thanks, Duncan. And uh, we will see you all uh, this Friday, hopefully. Great, Charlie. Thanks. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.